Lots of people want to do it, but it's a lot harder than it looks. Can I just start again? I just, I, I, I want to, I didn't get kicked off right. No, the reading was fine, the reading was fine. You're just the wrong height. Oh, I can be taller. No, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. We're looking for somebody short. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 tips for getting into the movie industry. For this list, we're looking at the best tips on how to start a career in the acting business in Hollywood. Don't lose it, man. Good day, Dr. Brewster. Don't whine like you're a second-rate actress. Good day. Not bad. Pretty good. It's not the easiest profession to get into, but these helpful tips are sure to help you along the way. Ready, start filming, be extra loud when the train passes by. Here we go, and action! Number 10, practice your craft continuously. And action! Practice makes perfect, as the old saying goes, and never is that adage more true than for an actor. Man, I don't drop character till I've done a DVD commentary. Practicing in this case comes in all shapes and forms, including simply talking in front of your mirror to perfect that one important line, or attending classes or film school to be taught by a professional. Let's say I want to convey that I've uh, just done something evil. Well, that would be your basic, I've got a fish hook in my eyebrow and I like it. <laughs> Either way, rehearsal is key to success. Sure, some people may have a natural acting talent, but practice never hurts. And the more you practice, the more natural your delivery will become and the more prepared you will be for that big audition. I want you to know I plan on being a star. A big, bright, shining star. Number 9. Be aware of your location and willing to relocate. I'm ready. All right. Cameras. It's no surprise that Hollywood is the place to go if you want to break into the movie business. Well, I couldn't afford a place like this in a million years. Unless, of course, I'm discovered and become a movie star. Well, of course, I'd rather be known as a great actress than a movie star. But, you know, sometimes people end up being both. Of course, there are cities around the world, like Toronto or New York, that have their own special place for film enthusiasts, but Hollywood is the big one. Evidently, I don't need to know, so f you, I'm going to Hollywood. You have to be aware of where you have to go to make it in the film industry. In other words, you can't stay in your small town of 2,000 people and expect to become a big-name celebrity. You have to be willing to move and to make sacrifices. What are you doing? I'm packing. Number 8. Manage your expectations. You know, sometimes you just have to lower your expectations. It's very rare that an A-list actor started out his career in a top-quality movie or TV show. Things change. Roll with them. But this is a two-line part. It's like taking a step backwards. Uh, I'm not going to do this. Everyone has to start somewhere, and everyone has to work their way up. You're feeling frustrated. Yes, I'm feeling very frustrated. I was worried your expectations were too high for all of this. If you're looking to break into the acting biz, you have to manage your own expectations and be aware that you won't be earning millions of dollars on your first acting job. Or, quite likely, ever. <laughs> be grateful for what you do get, and work your way up from there. I have fired up my resume, as I suggested all of you do as well. And keep in mind, a resume is just as important in the film industry as it is anywhere else. Here, I have a resume. I don't know if you still want to take a look at it. Number seven, take risks, have confidence, and be passionate. Good advice. To win big, you have to bet big, which means you have to be willing to take chances to make it to the big time. And you have to commit to those risks to succeed. I'm taking the same risk as when you rob a bank. I'm taking more of a risk. Banks are easier. You may start out on some small-time TV show that no one watches, and while that's fine, you have to be willing to make a difficult decision to move on to bigger and better things if your desire is to become an A-list celebrity. Hey, I saw your TV movie! It sucked! Hasselhoff blew you off the screen! Willingness and confidence are attributes needed to elevate yourself above the competition. It's like, so confident. Number six. Use social media for self-promotion. Facebook me will get weird. I don't think so. Some people may say that Facebook and Twitter are a waste of time, but there's no better way to get your name and your goals out into the open. You have to be willing to promote yourself to gain recognition from the outside world and to give them the opportunity to see what you can do and what you want to do. I'm watching for the only one. 
Some famous celebrities, like Justin Bieber, for example, have used this method to great success. Never underestimate the power of social media and the power of word of mouth on the internet. Talk about word of mouth, huh? Yeah, they're talking about you, Sal. Don't you want to talk back to them? Did you know there are almost as many people from Los Gatos searching for Sal's as there are from Palo Alto? Number five, be active. I'm desperate, yeah, basically. I mean, not in general, you understand? If you want a career in acting, but all you're doing is sitting on your couch and waiting for an agent to call you up with a major acting role, you're going about it all wrong. You cannot be lazy. I won't be lazy. You have to be active in your profession to get recognized. Do you have any experience in motion pictures? Oh uh, yeah, quite a bit actually. I have quite a bit of experience. I'm an uh, active uh, renter at Blockbuster and I um, attend the film to cinema uh, as, as much as possible. Making your own film is one way to get your name out there, whether you're looking to write, direct, or act. Okay, thanks. I'm going to raise $8,000 and I'm going to do Jeff's play. It shows not only your skills and creativity, but also that you're willing and able to commit to a long-term project. It's fantastic practice and experience for the real thing. Get the lights and camera set up on that end. We'll shoot this direction first. Joe, get the mic plugged in and make sure that the new batteries are in the camera okay. before you do the makeup. Okay. Number four, choose your representation. I want you to represent me down here, Donnie. I want you to be my man in Florida. There are many available options for representation for you to choose from. Also, it's headed to my first meeting with a Hollywood Uber agent. You can find an agent to get your work out there and to find jobs for you. You can join a union like the Screen Actors Guild, or you can try representing yourself to get your own name out into the crazy world that is the movie industry. You're fired. Oh, I'm representing I'm myself. I am so tired of you. You're fired. In any case, representation is key as it gives prospective producers the ability to see your work and call you in should they so desire. I already got you into audition for another world. All right. Cab driver number two. You're welcome. Number three, have a good portfolio. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that. How's your portfolio? A stellar portfolio is invaluable to success in the film industry, just as it is for any job. What's that? That's a portfolio of my work. That's what that is. Your pictures? Can I look at them? Yep, go right ahead. <coughs> Employers like to see professionalism from prospective employees, and it's one trait that will help you rise above the rest and will make you memorable. Here's a copy of my reel. It's got all the commercials that I've been in. A professional portfolio can include a well-written cover letter, or demo and audio reels for producers to watch or listen to in order to gain an appreciation for your work. Well, some people bring their resumes. I've <coughs> brought my own movie. Really? Well, good for you. But, and we can't stress this enough, professionalism is key, as you want everyone to remember you in a positive light when it comes time for hiring. The new me is very professional. Early to bed, early to rise, or very dull. Number two, have a professional headshot. Hey, look, I'm getting new headshots taken, all right? So I went to get my eyebrows shaped. I'm sorry. And... Moment to make fun of that, please. While they may be the butt of jokes on sitcoms, headshots are a must for any prospective actor looking to get their image out there and to get your personality across with one glance. You're better than most of them anyway. Uh, yeah. Do you have a headshot? More importantly, it gets your face and image out for producers to look at and decide whether or not you are physically a match for the character they're casting. It's arguably the best way to get producers interested. After all, you know what they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. I don't understand you, darling. How many words does it take? Before we look at our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. I forgot my mind. What? I forgot my mind. Thank goodness I memorize yours too. You're worried about your audition tomorrow, aren't you? No, I'm not no? worried about that audition. Why? Because Why I'm not going to so get it. I'm not going to get it. Because I'm completely wrong for it. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Have you felt yourself to be exploited in any way? How do you mean exploited? Well, like to get this job. I mean, did, did you do or, or were you asked to do anything that's lewd or unsavory or otherwise uh, repulsive to, to your person. Number one, always be networking. It's about who you know, brother. 
The most important tool for any prospective actor or anyone looking to get into the film industry is networking. Honey, look! It's not what you got! Oh, baby, it's who you know! And what they got! You got it? Yeah. As with any other job, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And having connections to someone with a lot of power just may be the first step that nabs you that perfect role. A big win. So you know, Henry. Websites like LinkedIn are perfect for networking with like-minded professionals. And having others see your name and your work is one way to get the word of mouth about you moving. Hopefully, it'll make it to someone important who can finally offer you the role you've been waiting for. It's who you know, Laurel. Life is all networking. Do you agree with our list? I needed someone Wait, to show your mouth. Sh show, your, show your mouth. What tip do you think is the most important for getting into the movie industry? There's got to be a better way. And there is, Kevin. For more informative top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Ah! And cut! That was perfect.